Most of us know what is an anthropomorphic robotic hand. It is a robotic hand that resembles human hand. But what is an underactuated robotic hand? Let us hear from the experts themselves. A human hand has 29 degrees of freedom. A high-tech robotic hand, which is around 15 to 20 degrees of freedom, uses an actuator for each joint, making a system the design very complex and requiring a complicated control system. The principle of underactuation is that you use fewer actuators to control many degrees. The biggest advantage of this is that you can, uh, you don't have to reduce the degrees of freedom thereby maintaining the versatility of your system. This hand uses only one actuator to control 15 degrees of freedom. The students at the University of Michigan tried to simulate a simple version of this hand with fi individually, the fingers can be modeled easily using DH parameters. Each finger can be considered to be a planar link robot with different link lengths. The thumb, however, is a complex structure. The thumb has two major linkages that have five degrees of freedom. Actuation modeling of thumb can be quite complex. We have simplified the mode to three degrees of freedom, but kept first rotation in different acts compared to the subsequent joint. This helps in maintaining some of the actual versatility. Hence, the DH parameters of the thumb are slightly different from the other fingers. Once DH parameters are found, the transformation matrix for each finger can be defined. Then, the base frame of finger is transformed to the base frame of the palm. The final transformation matrix for each finger, then defines the pose of the hand. Now let's have a brief introduction for our toolbox exploration. Peter Cork's toolbox is based on a very general method of representing the kinematics and dynamics of serial link manipulators. In our case, we wish to create a robot finger by serial link function but fail to integrate all the fingers as parallel link into one manipulator. The next robotic software we experienced is VRAP. VRAP simulator is based on distributed control architecture with integrated development environment, which makes it very versatile and ideal for multi-robot application. Finally we choose MATLAB Toolbox SynGrasp as theoretical analysis tool. SynGrasp is a MATLAB toolbox developed for the analysis of grasping, suitable both for robotic and human hands. We finally choose this toolbox because its joint couple modeling is desirable for our underactuated hand kinematic construction. First we define BASA point and coordinate for each finger and then combine every phalanx to form one finger by defining DH parameter. By tidying all these finger transformations up using 3D transform arrays and cell arrays of robot objects, we can construct the whole robot hand model. We can input all the variables as a 1 times 15 vector Q, which is respectively corresponding to robot hands 15 degree of freedom. For the theoretical modeling to define the new manipulator pose, by defining different capture object with corresponding finger contact point, we simulated the grasping process induced by an underactuated control. However, since all these toolboxes did not work well for kinematic simulation, we turned to sim mechanics in MATLAB. This simulation shows a simple closing of the hand. This is similar to the hand shown earlier since only one actuator is used to control all joints. This simulation shows the trajectory of the finger towards a predefined contact point. The grasping simulation shown below is based on the same technique. 